Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. Create a lot of content for MSPs. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to restrict the creation of new team channels to a certain list of approved members. So within Teams here, a lot of people know anybody as an end user can come in and click on the join or create team. And they have the option here to create a team. And additionally, they can add a public or private or org wide team that can be implemented by default in net new tenants and so a lot of cases here you want to restrict this down because thinking long term if anybody can create a team channel it's one creating a 365 group that's the backbone of the team's channel it's also creating a sharepoint site with the document library that will hold as a repository for all the documents within that team channel so if you let this open to anybody in the organization this can quickly get out of hand and over time you're going to have a big mess as far as a bunch of teams channels with a bunch of different document libraries with all this to kind of data being shared in, in, in an unorganized manner. So really you want to restrict this down into a certain group of people and create a funnel for people to then go and approve team channels being created and everything like that. So currently, the only way to do this is through PowerShell, and I'm going to show you how to do that here. A basic prerequisite, though, is going in and creating a 365 group for the employees or members of the company who would have access and have rights to create the Teams channels. So I like to create a security group here, and I've already done that, called Teams Channel Creators. And within there, you would define all the people who have the ability to create a new team. So definitely plan this out before you implement this. Have some structure and process scoped and defined for somebody to access a request to get a new team's channel created. But the good part about it is they can provide a business reason for doing so. And you can have all that documented as far as this needs to be created because we need it for X, Y, and Z purpose. If you're following any data compliance type regulation, this is gonna be great for you because this is something that you need to document anyway, especially with team channels that may contain certain PII or something like that. So within this support article, which I'll link below, you have the instructions of how to um, implement this and again 365 groups are the background of teams channels so this is the support article that you do have to follow and it's basically telling you what I just told you as far as creating the group but then it's got this PowerShell command that your or PowerShell commands that you'll need to run and so what you want to do is open up PowerShell ISC the 64-bit version here is what you'll want to run the first little command that you'll want to run is this import module Azure AD preview so that you import all the com necessary commandlets we'll need for the above here. And the only thing that you'll need to change in the copy and paste is this top part here. So the group name is whatever display name you've chosen for that 365 security group and just basic quotations there. So once you run this, it will go through and make all the necessary changes and then give you a new command line. So I'm in, I was in the admin portal here with the person that has the ability to create a team and they have the option to do so right here. Within an end user portal though, this is just an end user that doesn't have those rights. If I click on that create or join team, um, I only have the option to join with a code which can be sent to me from an owner of a team's channel, but otherwise I don't have the option to create a channel. So. This is how you set this up and this is how you can kind of mitigate the risk of tons of Teams channels being created throughout the organization with lack of organization. So if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe on the channel. Thanks. Have a good one.